Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna build this beautiful weather application that uses your geolocation built in in your browser to detect your city. And with the help of an open source weather API, it returns your city's weather conditions. We're gonna build this using React, TypeScript, Table and CSS, some custom hooks, and much more. Alright, so let's get started. I already created a blank Vite project for React. It's empty. So now we need to add our dependencies. Yarn add. I use Yarn because it's much faster than NPI. NPM, sorry. Auto prefixer. Or CSS. These two are just plugin CSS dependencies. We'll need Axios for our API calls and React Router and also React Router DOM for our router. Alright. So next we need to set up our plugin CSS environment. NPX Tailwind CSS Art. This command creates tailwind.config.js and postcss.config.js. We just need the tailwind config to modify it. Alright, so the content is our index.html and any file in SRC folder. So we will be like this in the next HTML and any folder and a file with these formats. Our right, so next inside the extends we defined these two. I'm just gonna copy it. We define our colors, our custom colors for this application, and our font family, uh, which is in the sense. Let's hit save. I want to delete that applet CSS because we don't need it, and modify the index at CSS. Okay, we're using two fonts here, Mozart, Internets, and Nonit Sense. And these are just Kelvin components we need to import. The default font family will be Mozart, Internets. Alright, so let's clear this, okay, now we run the project, it 
and also I'm going to remove everything it's an app alright so perfect alright first thing we need to do is to set up our routing we're gonna do that by modifying the main file first okay we need browser rather a suspense the callback that I will add later I'm sorry fallback fallback is loaded but this means when you are switching between routes mm, when it's like takes time to render the desired page this returns loading until the page is ready to be rendered all right next we need to create a file routes index.csx with the routes and define our routings but before that we need to define our layout component and pages so, layout will be layout we can edit this later and I'm gonna make a page folder the two pages the intro page and the weather page perfect now let's set up our routings const route that's a uh, route object array we need the path for it we need the element that will be our layout and we need the children start empty element will be the intro page and another one with that of weather and the element will be our weather page okay and finally export default routes all right so what this means is for this route that is our default path we're using this layout component and we render both intro page and weather page into this layout component so we need to write our layout component okay the classes will be display of flex flex direction of column cap of 5 this 5 is just a predefined telling CSS number so it's like 20 pixels not the 5 pixel actually H of screen, which means 100 VH or viewport height. We specify the width 
with this breakpoint that we says is predefined breakpoints so it just says for the screen size is bigger than 768 we say the width will be 500 pixels and for anything smaller the width will be will be 100 VW, which means 100 of user browsers view with viewport with. Okay, the BG will be BG white that we are defined in the Telvin config CSS. Telvin that config the JS. Again, MD rounded for the pixels so it's a border radius of for the pixels align items will be center and just for content will be center as well all right another big info H4 100% round the top will be 40 pixels as well. Background will be gradient to bottom right. So it says background image, linear gradient to bottom right, and the from and to that we can specify from. BG light to BG dark. This is the starting color of gradient, and this is the ending that will be on bottom right of the page. And I'm going to use another called via BG dark again. So this is the middle part of this gradient. Since I Define the both to and via to BG dark or the background dark we are defined in the Telvin configs. This means the most of the gradient will be this color. And finally, display flex and flex direction of color. Alright, now here we're using the outlet component. The outlet of React Router means these routes these i'm sorry these components will be rendered here so we define the layout for all of the paths we have so we don't have to write these again for every single page okay so finally in the app we need to use routes and import the routes from the routes file and render element. So basically, these right here will be rendered inside of layout layout sorry and this layout will be rendered here instead of the element okay so now you can see we have the intro we have the gradient and if I type the weather they have the weather component because we are specified it inside all right we can even create another set of paths for example if you have admin profile and user profile and i mean so many panels you can handle it like this so for admin you can specify a different layout so the admin sidebar or admin custom navbar and then the elements we just need to be inside 
all of our admin pages. We just define it once in layout and for every other page we can use that layout. But these are our only routes in these projects. All right. So let's design our intro page. First of all, let me copy my image folder. It's just some images, some icons, as you can see. All right, back to the intro page. Okay, so this will be split flex flex column line items center just by content center with 100% and height 100% as well so return and static image here that will be our intro icon and I went a little bigger so we added on a scale this bracket means custom values and we're going to use it a lot so the default scale values are not good for us so we are defining our custom value for this scale let's share some code Under from our image, assets image, under that image. All right. So the intro page looks like this for now. Okay. Now we need a bottom box component, and I'm using a component because I'm gonna use this in our weather page as well. So components, bottom box, index that pixels. Bottom box, we have components, bottom box, and it's fine. Okay, we need to display our props. Since we are in TypeScript, we have a children that. The type for that would be React Node. Read the children from our interface and we render it right here. The class name will be WFull Flex Flex Column. Line item center, this by content center, cap 5, which means 20 pixel, adding of 8, with, with, which means 32 pixels, background of BGY, border radius of 40 pixel, and shadow MD, that is a box shadow. But we predefined the values from the tablet CSS. All right, this is our bottom box. And as you can see, when I hover these glasses, it shows me the exact CSS line they use for that. So that's because my tablet CSS. Intelligence extension 
so you can install it it gives you other complete and when hovering it gives you the exact CSS of that cluster all right now that we have our Paramax ready you can use it like this also let me wrap it up in an empty tag now the bottom box and we here define the children this is an empty tag again expand put the style that just specifies the color of title we defined in the services configs font semi bold which means font weight 600 text size will be 24 pixels text line will be center max we have 80 percent and here's the span text okay so here's the bottom box the white box and here's the span here that text center text color description max will be 70 percent sorry 80 percent as well leading seven leading just Line height so seven means 20 pixels predefined. This is variable again, tell you this variable, and the font family will be sans that we are defined in our config as well. So let's just copy this text, and here's the result. Okay, and at the bottom now. button class name let's just say this sorry to see this first outline of none margin bottom 32 pixels width of full border radius of full g Dark, high of 60 pixel, phone way would be extra bold, margin top of 12 pixels, phone family of sands, click size will be 2 pixel. That means 24 pixels. Text color will be white. Position will be relative, and we hide the overflow. Okay, so here's the button, but I want to apply gradient to the text only. For that, we're gonna use clip text and it's better to have a separate component for that so the components specify another component called clip text and then set six r a f c e clip text okay let's define our props again It can be any name you want. You can just say clip text props. We have content that will be a string. And that's it. So we grab it here from clip text props. Alright. So this is a span. Class name of 
PG clip text. That means background clip of text. And the text color would be will be transparent. We show the contents here, and we need to specify a some style for this. Sorry, it goes here. So background image. I'm just gonna copy this. This is too long. Will be this gradient. So it's a gradient. And by using clip text, we'll be able to apply to the text only and not the bottom itself. So here, instead of get started, say clip text. And the content will be get started. So as you can see, it has a nice little gradient now and we're going to use this clip text in very other places so here's the intro page here's the Alexa version and here's the mobile version okay but by clicking to get started we're gonna navigate the user to the weather page so we're gonna use You use navigate from the browser, react browser, and we add a unclick function to this button. Navigate to the weather page. So now when we click on this get a solid button navigate to the web page okay now let's go over the web page set. okay so i just want to write the set of codes first and later we're gonna make it dynamic All right, empty tags. Flex, flex direction column, align items center, justify content between width of 100%, padding Y will be, padding Y will be 14. This means padding top and padding bottom will be the same, 56 pixels. Pick size will be XL, 20 pixels. And margin top of, of I'm sorry, this is just for my second thing. The height will be, okay, that's it. With full text line center, text size of position of relative, relative. font size would be font weight would be extra bold, flex flex, and flex direction color. Alright, so clip text again. The content will be our country. So, for example, Germany. And another one, the content will be our city. For example, Berlin. So, this is the result. But looks like something is missing. Oh, it's a light. Now it's stupid. It's a bolt. There we go. All right. For the next part, we're going to write relative.
preparing another clip text. The content will be our temperature. So, for example, 32. This is right here. Okay, after that, we're gonna use an image. For example, beautiful, probably cloudy, CG from our image. And I'll have the weather icon and again class name a bigger scale 1.2 will do just fine. Alright, here's our icon. After that Let's column gap of one, which means four pixels. Line at in center. Font size eighteen pixels. Um, sorry, this is just justify center. Let's work on the next center. Margin tab of 8, 32 pixels. And another clip text that is going to show our current condition. For example, in this case, probably cloudy here. Okay, and after that, it's the white, so oh, the color is white. Font extra bold, font size ng, and the font family will be your two cents. Just gonna show the time here, so for example, 10 a. Alright, so far so good. Now we need the bottom box again. We import it. W full select line item center. This five content of center and the gap will be back. Okay, so that EG white example we love 56 pixels I love 110 pixels border radius 100 percent give it a border and the border color would be will be stroke so this we say it's border width of one pixel we could do like for the two or two pixels, but we just need the one pixel. All right, legs, legs, column, again, line at the center, this five content between, adding top of four, and padding bottom of six. Okay. Now we need an image here. 
for example, spawning a small that always works later. And this is the grand weather icon, and the width should be of the pixel. Let's just import the image from sets names starting in 3G. Okay, and after the image, we need the span. Semi bold. Takes off 15 pixels, and the color would be tile. And for example, the next time we're gonna. So. In the output, we're gonna have at the end, we're gonna have four of these, and those will be dynamic. So, here's the basic of the web page, and now we need to we need to dynamic this page as well. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the user's geographic location, so latitude and longitude. So we're gonna write a custom hook for that. So hooks use your location and that yes. All right. Let's specify interface your location coordinates will have a latitude of number or null and the longitude will be again number or null so we need another interface it's time for use use your location return with the same content and an error that will be a string or then no. Okay. So now we define our hook. Um, use your vision an arrow function using the geolocation use your location in return okay so we define a state location state your location coordinates and the content will be lat of null and long of null as well location okay we need another state for our errors And this will be spring or no. All right. And finally, a news effect. A news effect with an empty bracket means this news effect just runs when this component renders, or this hook in this case. If we have 
navigate through that geolocation. Stay navigate through that geolocation that get current position. Our service function returns two callbacks. The first one is a success, call, success callback that will give us the position and the other one is error callback that gives us error if there is no position or could be null if there is no error and the option is optional, we don't use it. So, the first callback will be position so we set the location, the latitude will be position that goes that latitude and the longitude will be position that goes that longitude. And we set error. And if there is no position, it just set the error the error message. Or we can just specify a custom message. The geolocation is not supported by this browser. That's it. Alright, so finally, we're going to return that will be location or state that lat, the long will be location that long, and the error. And we export it. Use your location. So you might wonder, you may wonder is your location return? What's this about? So here we have defined our return object. Let's put the arrow as well. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on time mistake here. Error message. And there is no geolocation. So the navigator of the browser doesn't have a geolocation, which means that browser is basically old and doesn't support geolocation. We just set the error to this. All right, as I was saying, if you, for example, don't return the error, it gives us an error for the return. It says the error type, the error is missing in the type we are exporting, but it's required in the use location return because we're using this type or this error function. So that's the magic of TypeScript as well. Okay, so now that we have our geolocation, we can use it. This will be an object, an array. Use geolocation. Okay, I'm just gonna cancel it. Doesn't exist on this location. Yeah, it should be locked. All right, let's test this now. Refresh and check the console. Here is the latitude, longitude, and the error that is now. And I'm using a VPN, obviously. So it's just a random place in a data center.
all right okay so now we need the data state for our data that will be any and I'll explain why later let's just create rid of this warning by adding this Yes, link disable line at the top of the page. And we're gonna need a use effect to render the data. Alright, so for the data, I'm using whereapi.com. You can make an account. And it will give you this API key that you can copy and use. It's just a trial. Okay, so we're gonna need an .env file in our root to specify the key, and the env file won't be on git ignore because usually usually contains some set of information so let me just copy my access token it has a name and content and since we are using read the environment variables or env should be served with all right let's save it um uh, let's add it to the git now so it's not been exposed okay and now let's write our api so i'm gonna make a folder called services and api.ts inside it Okay. Okay. Export counts get well async wait access dot get https API that Weather API.com version one forecast .json. and we need some permits that swing and um, no. Okay, the key will be import meta dot dot in the name. So specify we specify the API key here, and the query will be latitude and. Longitude. We set the days to two to show the today's forecast and tomorrow. All right, let's save this, and we're gonna use it right here. So I can say if flat and long exists. You can use the API, but this should be converted to string as well as this response and set the response in data. 
Okay, I don't know why it says it's possibly no. Alright. Got to use two ants in the array. We write error let n. So this means whenever one of these parameters change, the whole use effect is gonna run again. Because the use effect has higher priority from this use geolocation as some hook. So it's gonna run even if this lad line error are still empty so it specifies that so when there is field this runs again and gets the weather it's just now or we can just read from the network all right let's test this so now in the network you can see we call the api with our key our query and there is app two and the response will be current forecast for two days then we're going to use hourly forecast and the location which is germany data center all right Next thing we need is getting the current time. So this will be data dot location dot local time and we split it with a space and we need everything after the space. Let me show you what this means. So data dot current sorry data dot location the local time it's a date and a time and they're separated by this space. So we just need the time so we split it by space and we need everything after the space which means this time. Okay, and we need the current hour, so we say if there is a current time, we convert it to integer using plus int, current time that is split, And if there is no current time, I suppose we can just say 12 as in a slack number. So when the API fails for any reason, you can. Okay, so the current hour splits this current time. That will be, for example, 8.41. We just need the hour. It will be like this. So say if we have current time, we convert it to integer first and we split everything before the column. So it's the hour, not the minutes. And if there is no current time, we just use a solid number like two. Okay. Now let's dynamic some data before continuing. So say data location about entry and there will be data dot location that's name that's our city this will be data dot current dot temperature in Celsius all right the image will be image for now we can add the time here current 
time and we can change this to data dot current dot condition dot text. So the reason I added this any here because TypeScript by default doesn't know what's in this state. So if you just remove it, we're gonna have this error that says it's possibly undefined and we can read location, country or anything else from an undefined variable. So we add any telling that TypeScript uh, don't mind this and we just remove this from the types of TypeScript okay so yeah here it is okay so this is our dynamic the data center in Frankfurt the temperature the weather condition and we're gonna dynamic the icon now okay so for the icon for the icon I'm not gonna use the default icons of the weather API because it's just not pretty it doesn't fit our application so I'm gonna use a custom function so we so we say Helpers and then start T6 or it could be yes. I said T yes, it doesn't matter much. Okay, so here I'm just gonna import some images and it's for the function get main weather icon that takes the title of the string in the input and we're going to have a switch case over it like that let me just copy this because it's going to take so much time to alright so we give the title from the weather API and based on the title we render some images if none of these are the exact titles in the default we can check if it includes the rain or thunder or anything else and if there is none of this we return sun well, so Let's just test this real quick. So here, instead of the image, we say get main weather icon, and the title will be data that current that coordination that text okay let's check the error reading the includes and find okay so it looks like the coordination is undefined let me check oh it's, it's coordination all right i think you can see what's happening here maybe the data is not ready yet so you can say if there is no data return in a span and say loading yeah that was the case so as you can see current state is sunny so we get the sunny icon for example, if I change the sunny to 
let's say rainy it would be rainy well it should be some okay and for this loading let me add some styles Ooh, text line center text color would be white font weight would be bold font size would be 20 pixels and margin Okay, let's just test it. All right, here it is. Okay, so this is already, but seems don't have the current time. Hmm. Let's see what's that about. Oh, the local time has it. Uh, now we have the time in Germany, Frankfurt. Okay, so now we just need this broadcast. So the next four hours function. So where's the So the thing is, since we specified the day parameter to two, in the forecast it returns two objects. This is for today's weather state. So it has 24 objects for the 24 hours. And this is for tomorrow. And if user runs this application in late time, for example, at 22 o'clock, the problem is if we use only one day, there's two instead of four. So I'm gonna use the remaining ones from the tomorrow. So that's why we're setting the day to number two instead of one. Okay, so I need to first find this forecast, forecast zero. Forecast day created zero, so it's the first day. That's our and it's forecast we get. It should work as well. We filter it. We return hours data and it will be any as well. Percent area the time the split the split again. Okay, so this returns the hour of the filter data. So Return this current hour and hour which is smaller than the plus five and we can just say there is none. Just return an empty hour. Okay, so let me explain this. We're getting the data of the forecast object. So we're basically 
filtering string tree objects and we get the time so for example we have 8.59 here so here we extract the hour so it will be 8 0 8 to be exact and we return those ones who are bigger that are current hour and smaller that are current hour plus 5 so it's the next 4 hours you know bigger than the 8 and smaller than the 8 plus 5 all right so now will be we check check if this there's a remaining hours like in the late night example I just said so remaining hours needed will be four okay and uh, second day hours will be data that forecast that forecast day one this one is one because we need the tomorrow not today that's our that is slice zero and three hours needed or just empty array there is none and return an array with both of them And if there is no, sorry, if this is in fact bigger than four, or it's exactly four, we just return the first day hour that slice zero and four. So we just return the first four from the today's data okay so here we say if the length is smaller than four so it means we have some short we so we calculate the remaining hours and we grab it grab it from the next day so zero, slice it zero and remaining hours needed so for example if there's two zero two returns two so we use the first two from the today and the next two from the tomorrow day okay now let's just use it let's close this and in here we're gonna cut this for now next four hours if this exists, then map over it. Um, there, there would be any, and we need an index that is number. All right. The key of this will be index. The time will be hours with uh, the time the split. Again, we just need the time, not the date. This is n. All right. So where's the bar? Oh, I can remove this image now. Okay, let's debug again. What seems to be issue? Unfine reading zero. Okay. I 
this is well this one all right next again and the power again zero this should be fine Test zero. That's all that we can probably just misspell this. Yeah, forecast that. All right. So as you can see, since the time is nine in Germany, we get ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. We just need to fix the icons. Okay, so I'm gonna write another function. I'm just copying it because it's the same as this one with different icons. Get forecast weather icon instead of get, get main weather icon. So it's still, it's a title. If there is no title, we return sign it just like this. And we convert to the lower case in the switch statement. I will return a small version of icons with the same titles. Okay, and we're gonna need we're gonna use this here. If there is condition that text, yep, there it is. I'll just Want this as well. Okay. All right. So this icon is now dynamic. Let me just test it. You can. I'm sorry. You can. Oh, I'm sorry. It's get main weather icon. It should be. Focus on that one. All right, so rain, we return rain, but for example, cloudy, we return cloudy, thunder, we return thunder, and so on. But we're gonna use the dynamic data. All right, so these are changed now. At 10 o'clock, it's gonna be cloudy. At 11, it's gonna be sunny. 12, sunny. 13, cloudy again. Let's check if we're missing something. No, no. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna make a copy of this. And since this is inside the get ignore you just need to get your own api key from the weather api so i'm gonna make another file called enry.example and say your api key okay so just you just replace this and you remove the dot example from this file and it should be just like this and it works and for the icons let me just show you something with our api if we go to the let me find documents yeah there it is go to the word icons and codes it supports multi-language but in English as you can see there are several weather conditions like cloudy sunny partly cloudy mist um, snow blind snow fog or so much more but for this application because it's just a tutorial I just specified some of those you can edit this if you want in both functions and return the proper icons 
that you like. Alright then, that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. This was my first video that I actually talked along with. I hope you like this and let me know what you think in the comments. Should I continue making content like this or not? Have a great day everyone.